Okay. And what, what did you tell her? That we think Logan could be the killer? You, you said that without proof. Spinelli. Spinelli. We were right. Logan's the killer. Okay, so Spinelli and I found this pill in Coop's room, but we couldn't identify it, so I took it to Robin. She didn't know what it was, but there was this new doctor who works at the hospital. He said it was like some sort of experimental pill for people with bad livers or something. The Krabby Commando could be hepatically challenged. I mean, it would certainly explain his Billy's nature. So that does not prove anything. Wait, I'm not done yet. The doctor also said this pill, it like pumps up your energy and when you take it, it makes your skin smell sweet. And when I was attacked, that's all I could remember, that the guy, he smelled sweet. So who's ever taken the pill? Could be the killer. That, that, that does not make it Logan. Why are you defending him? I'm not. I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt like I gave you. Don't do anything without proof. What are you waiting for? Keep digging. I, I still have one more online lesson to complete before I get my Mickey Spillanian sheepskin. Yo, what? Doesn't matter. I shall jackal the Simeon One's medical records and see what I can discover. Great. You really think Logan could be the killer? Why, Johnny? Are you worried about poor Lulu? Don't be. Unless you failed to notice that the text message killer has never come after her, only your maniac father. As long as Logan and Lulu are tight, I'm sure she'll be fine. Then there could be a problem. Hey, uh, guys, uh, have either of you seen Daniel? No, why? Well, he's uh, he's been AWOL. He called me with some cock and bull story about a pulled muscle on his side, and I, I haven't heard from him since. Her lips were a one-way ticket to trouble. And she had these legs. She was the kind of dame you couldn't take home to mother without mother wanting to slap some sense into you. Well, it be, doll face. Try on some respect, Michael. You're talking to a lady. Well, it be, Miss doll face. Maybe something to keep me warm? <laughs> Coming right up. Feed it, Michael. I'll handle this. I was doing the sap a favor. A couple rounds with this kitten and he'd wind up in a wooden kimono. It wasn't his fault. He just had chump written all over him. Why don't we go someplace where we can be alone? What's wrong with you? We are alone. And why are you standing so close to me? Just, just putting down my coffee cup. Why don't we go someplace where we can be with other people? Talk some sense, Vanilla. Do you have stuff on Logan or not? Federal offense? Blonde one? If you announce it a little louder, perhaps I'll... The authorities will hear you. No one heard me. What's your problem? No, it's just... Look, when the jackal is in the zone, working on a case with my new PI license... This isn't it... an official case, and you're not even a real PI yet. We are on a search for the killer of your wise and compassionate sister, who secretly and inexplicably had... Feelings for me, why I could have inspired such devotion may forever remain beyond my comprehension, but... As... Is it so hard for you to believe that someone could love you? Look, I, I, I agreed to help you find the person who took her from us, and... The thought that she suffered at the hands of the crabby commando of all people is... I get it. <clears throat> um... Okay, so you thought the killer had a... You thought the killer had a uh, distinctively sweet smell? Yeah, yeah, and Dr. Delvin said that that could be a side effect of the experimental drug. NH08. Right, the drug we found in Coop's room. Right, I will look in Logan's records for a drug of that name or a similarly experimental sounding moniker. No, really, that's not right. <laughs> I can't do this. I, I, I can't do this anymore.
reminder? Personal bubble? What? My, you invading my personal bubble. I, I can't concentrate. You hacked into the safe at the Metro Court when you were surrounded by armed mercenaries who were shooting at people and threatening to blow the place up, and you're telling me I'm breaking your concentration by just standing next to you? I know what's going on here. You do? Yeah, well, it's pretty obvious you're not doing a very good job at hiding it. No, the Jekyll, look, the Jekyll is not like other men. I, a pronounced lack of socialization at an early age left me with erratic and unconventional personal interaction, okay? Whatever you think you may have gleaned I from my... I think you pretty much hate my guts. Oh. And I think you resent the hell out of the fact that I forced you into helping me by threatening violence. But you know what, Spinelli? I, yeah. I don't really give a damn because this is my sister we're talking about. And I don't care how I make you feel or how uncomfortable you are around with me. You're stuck with me. Because until I'm positive that we found the real killer, I'm going to be the first person you see in the morning and the last person you see at night before you go to sleep. And if you can't deal with that, tough. <laughs>